For a long time, these ultrasonic lightsaber-esque type knives have been somewhat unobtainable. Whoa, dude. That is crazy. For this simple reason. But as of late, they've been getting quite a bit cheaper. I said cheaper, not cheap. And while they do offer some pretty unique cutting abilities, are they actually worth it? Who are they for? Is this technology completely useless technology? Or is there room for improvement? So what is an ultrasonic knife? Well, it's a knife blade that's attached to a small piezoelectric element that vibrates the knife blade. Usually only a handful of microns on the order of 20,000 plus times per second or 20,000 plus hertz. Now I haven't been able to find a really good solid scientific explanation on how vibrating the knife blade at 20,000 plus times per second assists in the cutting ability, but I believe it's something like this. These oscillating multi-tools use a much slower blade oscillation speed of around 20,000 oscillations per minute versus 20,000 plus oscillations per second of the ultrasonic cutters to saw through material. But more on this in a second. So does vibrating this knife blade at 20,000 times per second actually increase its cutting ability? Well, I tried it on a whole bunch of things and analyzed the results under high magnification. But first, know that the blade on this thing is only about eight millimeters or about 25 80ths. And I did try to fit larger blades on this thing, but literally nothing happened when I did so. I tried cutting various objects with the larger blades attached to give us more usability, but doesn't sail through that, that's for sure. It didn't enhance the cutting ability whatsoever on any of the larger blades I fitted. I figured the smaller razor blades I was using were too thin and was absorbing the energy or something like that. So I went nuclear. <laughs> This probably won't work either, but at least we tried. I again tried cutting a bunch of stuff and nothing happened. There was no difference with the ultrasonic cutter on versus off. No difference. I mean, honestly, my thought here is that this is probably just not powerful enough, just like a lot of things. Not sure if this is due to the blade vibrating in the wrong direction or if it just needed more power or something else I'm not smart enough to figure out. But if we use this thing as it was originally intended with the included blades, we enter into a whole new world of cutting performance, at least on a microscopic level. I mean, this thing will do things that you just can't do with a regular knife. Now, the one area an ultrasonic knife definitely has an advantage over a traditional knife is on plastics. You can cut plastics like they were a much softer material. It will even cut this kydex with no troubles whatsoever. You simply can't do this with a traditional knife. Or a giant hunk of rubber. It just sort of melts its way through. And that's actually exactly what it's doing. It's vibrating so fast that the blade creates friction heat and melts through the plastic it's cutting. You can see this melting action here as we cut through a plastic shim under magnification. This also applies to things like cheese. So I gotta do a good bit of pushing to get this through here. It's like stuck, turn it on. Oh, it's like butter now. So it seems to me like the same thing happens with cheese. We're melting our way through it due to the blade's friction heat. So here's the same plastic shim that's been sprayed with water. And you can see once the blade hits the water, how quickly it's actually moving. And this is in slow motion, by the way. Now here's the exciting thing. After using this, I think we are just scratching the surface here of what ultrasonic cutters could be used for in the future. I cut an awful lot of stuff with this, pretty much everything that I could think of, and it did improve the cutting ability on just about everything. One notable thing on this list was wood. While it did improve cutting ability in wood, I found that it burns wood very easily. I would say that it's almost impossible to not burn any type of wood with ultrasonic cutters in some way. Something to keep in mind. Meanwhile, it's fantastic for cutting through stacks of paper like this catalog or similar paper material. You just can't do this type of cutting with a traditional knife. 
These are also supposed to be better at cutting easily freeing material, and I think overall that is mostly true. However, I did test this on a piece of Kevlar strap, and it did cut it better than this new razor blade did. However, if I change the blade attack angle by using this pocket knife and forcing the fibers down into the cutting surface, I was able to get a relatively clean cut way quicker than the ultrasonic. Also on thicker fabric like items like denim, there is a big difference in cutting performance. Cutting through denim feels like cutting through butter, even on the thicker layered portions. On leather, I did have a harder time telling the difference. I would say that it does improve the cutting ability, but it's not drastic. And for thicker leather like this, you really need a bigger blade anyway. And on thinner leather, I think the difference would be even less. So honestly, I wouldn't recommend this for cutting leather. This is with it off. I mean, maybe it takes away some of the stickiness when cutting through leather, but again, the difference is not drastic if you're using a sharp blade. Now, I did test some food items, but with such a small blade, it was difficult to test these things since any blade this small passes through food items very easily. From what I did test though, for the vast majority of food items, I personally don't believe there would be a big enough difference using an ultrasonic knife over a knife with proper geometry to justify the increase in complication by using an electronic knife to cut food. I mean, maybe in certain industrial food packaging applications, yes, but for your home cook, no. So is this thing actually worth buying? I think if you're cutting plastics or, or any small, very hard plasticky type items, then this is really your only bet because you can't do those things with a regular knife. Or maybe if you're cutting fabrics, multi-layer fabrics or paper or something like that, then these may save you a little bit of time and effort, especially if you're doing fine detail work. Now, other than that, I think this thing is kind of not worth it. Now, that being said, I think that this technology, this reminds me of something very familiar. These things, these uh, oscillating type cutters. Now these are not ultrasonic cutters. These things vibrate back and forth at around 20,000 times per minute, not 20 to 40,000 times per second. Um, they're essentially uh, oscillating saws. They cut things by sewing through them back and forth very quickly. Now for a long time, these type of oscillating tools if you've been in construction way back in the day, these were extremely expensive because they were patented and there was only like one manufacturer that made them. They were very expensive and almost nobody had them. Nowadays, I guess the patent ran out, but everybody makes these things now and everybody has them. These are really one of the most used tools that I have and they was one of the most used tools that I had when I was doing construction. Now, with that being said, this ultrasonic knife technology reminds me an awful lot about this tool. And to tell you the truth, if you could make a tool, and here's a, here's a thing, if you're a tool manufacturer, listen up. Because if you could make a tool that cut using ultrasonic technology like this in a package that looked like this using disposable razor blades that look like this, you would really have something. So I want you to imagine we have a tool that takes a disposable razor blade like this. And we have a much more powerful version of this that can do this to drywall and other materials. If you can't see the practical applications of this hypothetical tool, then uh, I can't help you. In any case, I would definitely buy it. Keep in mind, there's almost no physical effort pushing this through drywall and there's very little airborne dust. Just saying. I mean, I am dead serious. I would 100% buy this tool almost regardless of price. I mean, maybe you have to redesign it. Maybe the blade has to vibrate a slightly different way, whatever it is. If you're a tool manufacturer, please make this tool. I'm, I mean, I'm sitting here, sitting in my garage, thinking about how to make one of these myself and I'm just some guy in a garage. Anyway, it would solve some major problems especially for me because I have a lot of them. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.